Today I'm gonna to convert my leaderboard into a UI element that keeps score. So I have my leaderboard that collects, I can collect points, I get points on my leaderboard. That's pretty cool. But I'm making like an old retro Pac-Man game and I want the score to show up here. Let's see what that would look like. So with a few easy modifications of my game, I made a UI element on the top to keep score. And I put a sound in there too. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. I have an empty base plate right here and the first thing we're gonna need is a leaderboard. So let's go to our server script service, hit the plus, add a script, and then we're gonna call this leaderboard. And I put the code in the description, go down to where it says leaderboard, copy, paste it, and paste this code right in there. We're gonna play it see if everything is working good. All right, we'll just go here, view, output, check the output window, no errors. Ah, uh, there's a leaderboard, it says points. Now let's add something we can collect that has points. So I will turn this off, go back to my base plate, and we'll go to home, part, there we go. And we'll just keep them big like that. I have this on 10 stud snaps, if you're interested. So I need a script right here. Let's go and hit plus and we'll add a script and we'll call this collect or treasure or whatever you want, collect. The name won't matter. In the description of the game, underneath the leaderboard, I have something that says pellet, right? So we'll do a control V, you copy and paste where it says pellet, this code right here. And now we're gonna be able to put stuff on our points, on our leaderboard, in our game. So we'll hit play, and just do one pellet until you're done. There we go. So we got 10 points for that pellet. That's pretty cool. Now let's make a UI element so that we can actually update that, and then we'll disable this. Turn my game off, and I think I still have, a bit, I still have it on the base plate. Let's go down to starter GUI, hit the plus, screen GUI, hit the plus, add a frame. And a frame, we'll call this score frame. All right, I wanna center that in the middle of my screen. So let's go to anchor point, point five and zero. That just makes it scoot over there a little bit. That's all right. Let's go down a little bit. And we're gonna position it, I'll position it at 0 0.5, zero, zero, zero. There we go. And let's change the set, the size, I don't know, maybe 0.35, is that good? Zero, 0.1 and zero. That's, that's kind of big. We might wanna make it small because you have your chat over here or smaller. Let's maybe make a point three here on the X. So point three, zero, point one, and zero. I like that. All right, now we gotta make this kind of transparent or however you wanna do it. You know what, I think I'll just keep it white like that. A lot of you guys are good at decorating stuff. So on my score frame, I'm gonna hit the plus. I'm gonna do a text label. This is gonna be half of my frame. I'm gonna call this score LVL. Position is good where it's at, but for size, I'll make it 0.5 on the X, zero pixel offset. One on the Y, zero pixel offset. There you go. And now you could change the text to whatever you want. I'm gonna go down here. I'll just hit for the text, score, or maybe a colon or something like that text scaled. I'm not going to bother decorating it. You have a lot of options down here. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to hit a control D and now we have two. This one is going to be points label, right? Can't see it. I am not going to move it over. What I think I'm going to do is on the score frame, hit the plus, add a UI list layout. And then I'm gonna change the UI list layout instead of being vertical, I will go horizontal. There we go. Now we have to change some things here. 
not on the score frame, let's say points, points label. Make sure that that's highlighted. And we don't want it to say score. We want to go to text and then give it like a zero, right? Because that's what we're going to start with, zero. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty good. We need a script. I think I'll put the script on the score frame, hit the plus, and we're going to do a local script, right? Local script. And this will be something like score script. Right, score, I'll do it, score L-O-C for a local script. All right, now we need some way for that pellet to talk to our UI element. We are gonna go to replicated storage, hit the plus, add a remote event, and this is gonna be my points RE. Now in my local script, I can get that gateway from the, from the client or from the server to the client by getting replicated storage, game get service, replicated storage. I'll get my points RE. Yeah, we'll do RS, wait for child. There it is, points RE. That's pretty cool. Oh, and don't forget we got our label that we have to update. So we'll say local. Oh, what is that? Points, points label. Points LVL, script.parent, wait for child, points LVL. Now the server is going to send a client event. Let's set that up so we can capture it. We'll do a points re dot on client event colon connect function. I'm not going to pass any arguments from the server side. I am going to get the number of points off of my player. So Let's get a reference to our player. And we'll do game dot players dot local player. Remember, you can get the local player from a local script. You can't do that on server side though. And then we'll just put two notes. We've got to do some updates. We will say update points. And maybe we can play the sound or something like that. Like play sound effect. Cool. We gotta go back to our server side. We have to update our leaderboard. Let's go to our leaderboard. I have it here. If you don't know where it's at, you can right click and then show and explore. Ah, voila, server script service. Cool. This is gonna be incredibly easy. I am gonna use all that code. That's why I gave it to you in the description. I'm just gonna call this player data. There we go. And now I can use this instead of my leader stats. Little bit of modification on the parts though, right? So we're gonna go to our part in our world, right? That part, and then we have our collect script. Let's open that up. So player no longer has leader stats, right? Leader stats is now player data. And you can call that whatever you want. You just gotta be consistent. Now also, when we update our points on our player data, it doesn't know where to go. It's not leader stats. There's infrastructure built into the leader stats, into the leaderboard we're gonna to need to send a remote event to the client. No problem. Let's do local RS to get a reference to replicated storage. So game get service, replicated storage. And then we're gonna get our points RE in replicated storage, just like on the client side, points RE. When we get down here, let's just do a points RE Fire client. Oh, you gotta tell it what client to go to. That's all right. We got the player right there. Boom, goes to the server and or to the client. Now let's go back to our client, score loc, which is in which is right under our score frame. We can update this. All right, so I'll get rid of these notes. Kind of lost it there. We'll do a local points, player, player data, oh, it's not gonna pop up for me though, player data dot points dot value, and then whatever value these points have, we're gonna display it in our UI. So I'll say LBL, oh, not LBL, points LBL, points LBL dot text equals 
points. That points. Let's try it out. Let's hit the play button. And look at that. We got it, right? Of course, you can move that around. See how there's that inset in there? Inset. Let's get rid of that. Although, I don't know. I'm kind of liking that better than the demo. But you might want to get rid of it. If you want to make sure that this is up against that bar there, just go to Screen GUI and then Ignore GUI Inset. Boom. And let's make a couple more of these. Let's do a Control D. Control D. Control D. All right, we'll get our we'll get our pellets. Boom. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. You have a Pac-Man game on the way. All right, I will see you in the next video.